Maile had to first calm some community members who did not mince their words on how they feel and what needs to be done to those illegal foreigners. The Economic Development MEC in Gauteng says borders should be monitored closely and carefully so. As failure to do so will create problems. If you don't close the borders, monitor them, put systems, you're going to end up with a lot of illegal people. And that becomes a problem because the issue is not whether people from other countries can come to South Africa or not. No, that's not the issue. Uh, the issue is when people come to South Africa, they must come in through proper channels and legally because if they don't, you end up having people in your population that you can't account for. So that's, that's the whole point. Maile says when it comes to the economic interest of this country, South Africans should come first. The interest, the economic interest of South Africans takes precedence. The government must protect the economic interest of South Africans. And in saying that, it doesn't mean that we don't like others and all that. Johannesburg Economic Development MMC also weighed in. We have our old spaza shops, which uh, when growing up were owned, you know, for example, in Midlands Zone 10, where I grew up, above VRS, you know, we knew that those spaza shops are solely owned by our, 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 our South African, you know, business people. But today we learn that those spaza shops have been taken over by um, foreign nationals. So that is the first concern that came out strongly from this engagement with our community. The second issue is the issue of uh, finance uh, funding. You know, uh, there were commitments uh, which were made apparently during COVID-19 by the national government uh, that um, spaza shops owners and business people were going to be assisted with funding. Community members voiced their disgruntlement. I'm unable to open because there's intimidation and harassment from the grouping that has decided to throw out the foreign nationals out of Opino, which I accept they have left, but I don't understand what's the reason for me not to function and operate now. Maile also visited Nalidi Township in Soweto to hear from the community, especially those who are involved in small businesses. He promised that government will look into the issue of funding their businesses. Calvin Ruta, SAPC News. Boy, but don't.